Welcome, Welcome to, to Bailey, Bailey Matthews, Matthews National, National Show Museum. Museum. Today we're leaving our campground and headed to the Bailey Matthews Show Museum on Sanibel Island. This museum is completely dedicated to seashells. So today we're gonna go learn about some of the kinds that you can find here. Right to your right is our main exhibit hall. We just entered the Great Hall of Shells. That's a huge shell. This is called the Queen Helmet and is one of the largest species of mollusk living in the ocean. size shells. Even this little one here is a world record for its type of shell. There's two classes of mollusks that we have around the island. We have the mollusks that have one part to their shell, and we call those gastropods. Gastro means stomach, pod means foot, and they were originally given the name belly foot animals because people thought they looked like they were crawling on their bellies. And then the second ones we have around the island are the mollusks that have two parts to their shell, right? We call those the bivalves, and that's like the clams and the scallops and the oysters. One of them is called our lettered olive. You can see what looks like a little piece of spaghetti sticking out of the front of it. Can you see that? That little white tube there sticking out? That's called a siphon. So the mollusks, they don't have good eyes at all. Their eyes just see shadows and things. So the way that a gastropod figures out what's going on around its world is it'll take that little siphon and they basically pull water across that siphon and they smell with chemical sensors what the salinity of the water is, the pH. They can sense if there's a predator nearby that's giving off a chemical. Some of these, like the olives, are kind of scavenger feeders and they feed on whatever they can find. And they can actually sense that there's a dead shrimp or something 20 yards away down in the water. This is called a baby's ear. This is a mollusk that grows out of its shell so rapidly that all you can see here is see that little bit of the shell, that white piece that's in the center? That's its shell, but the animal outgrows its shell and it essentially spends all its life outside of its shell. This one protects itself from predators because it'll dig down into the sand away. I'm doing a shell scavenger hunt. This is my favorite shell at the Shell Museum. It's called the Noble Scallop, and I like it because of all of its bright, colorful colors. I like the pink mouth Morex because I like pink, the color pink, and I also like conks. And it looks like a conch with pink in it. Hope you enjoyed this video, bye. We made it to Bowman's Beach. And here we're going to search for seashells and have fun playing in the water. This beach is famous for its seashells and I'm excited to collect some. Oh, it's a little snail! Tree snail! Set up camp here. I already have my sunscreen on and stuff. Great. So, we're gonna go out and look for some good shells. Me. I will. 